Welcome back. We just got done having our party and I got him in a sexy outfit. Keeping his hair messy because I like it messy. I think this, the sexiness of his hair goes with his sexiness of his face. Okay. Everybody's here repairing everything. Damn it, people who need <laughs> this is not bad. Yeah, that's not their only problem. Where is she? Here she is. You all arrived here from Cislodia, yes? In that case, you should depart via the south gate, rather than the one you arrived through. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Yes, we do. Okay, let's go out. Should I just change everybody's outfits to break this thing? Let's see what the other world looks like first before I change them. It's a quarry. Did they really change the quarry?
Stay sharp. We're going in. Check the map and see if anybody needs help. This place needs help. Or Tisha Hardway needs help. Kind of the same level as that freaking Vantas. But I'll wait until we are in higher level first when we get to that sucker. that Kisara never came back to see us I'm surprised she slipped away without us noticing where would she even go I hope this place survives you think the Danins and Renans have a chance of getting along we didn't really do much to change things around here did we this realm had its own walls to overcome and in the end, it was the people themselves who decided to break them down, without any help from us. I hope they keep going. I really do. <laughs> yeah, well, if you say so, I guess. Huh? All right. I leave command of the Gold Dust Cats in your hands. You've got nothing to worry about, Kisara. I'll do your brother proud. Looks like it's time to go. Take good care of Zare for me. All right, Lagil? You've got it. Stay safe, Kisara. When they make the wings lively, like it's on their back. Did you come to say goodbye? No, joining us. Actually, I was wondering if you could use another <laughs> companion. Huh? <laughs> well, we certainly don't mind you coming along. We just figured you'd stay behind and help rebuild. These people could use you. I thought much the same thing. However, in the end, something changed my mind. Ever since Miguel died, I've been thinking a lot about where I went wrong, what I should have done differently. You know, that sort of thing. It's true that our dream of coexistence saved many Danon lives, but we were naive and short-sighted. I, I was so wrapped up in my idea of how things should be that I didn't see the problems that existed right in front of us. I thought we had been given a utopia, and so I never bothered to look too far past its surface. I chose to be ignorant, and because of that, because of me, my brother... Magal's death wasn't your fault, Kisara. Perhaps you're right, but in the end, it was me he entrusted this dream to. I learned that nothing in this life is free, or gained without sacrifice. Now that I know that, I'll just have to figure out what else I don't know. So, decided to join us? I have. And hopefully I can continue to protect Elderman and Sia from outside the dream world. 
for the sake of those still inside. And here I thought you joined for an opportunity on my life. In all honesty, I'm grateful to you. I truly am. I don't blame you for what happened. But I must also leave your service. No longer will I be defined by protecting a Renan Lord. Oh, damn. From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. No drugs allowed. All I ask is that you do your part. That you fight alongside me. Not just for those who used to believe in your dream, but for those that still do, Dohalim. I understand. I'm no longer a lord anyway. Well, this crew just gets bigger and bigger. All right, where to, team? We make for Mahag Sar, the Valley of the Four Winds. There we go, all oh, niggas all together. I'm amazed how easily you can move such a giant shield around like it's nothing. Really? It's not actually as heavy as it looks. It's really reassuring to have someone like you protecting us, though. You know, I guess I never realized it before. But looking back, I've always been the sort to put myself in harm's way to protect those around me, even before I joined the Elder Men and Sea Guard. So in a way, using this shield to keep you all safe feels like it's what I was meant to do. You don't need to worry about protecting me. I don't plan on relying on you. That's okay. It doesn't matter if you do or not. I don't protect people because they ask me to. I do it because I want to, and because I think it's the right thing to do. That goes for you too, Dohalim. Me? Yes. You see, you and I both want the same thing. We have the same goal. That means it's in my best interest to continue to protect and keep you safe as well. Even now. <sighs> I'm not sure how much protecting I'll need either, but I appreciate the thought. I'm sure you'll do us proud, Kisara. Right. You can all count on me. What was Kelzalik even after in the end? Isn't it obvious? Clearly, he wanted the throne for himself, and was gonna have his goons execute Dohalim to get it. He had to have known he couldn't hope to defeat a lord. He should have run while he had the chance, instead of holing himself up in the palace. Maybe he thought he couldn't run? Either way, the outcome's the same. So he got desperate and decided to go for broke? One might argue that he was another victim of mine, in a sense. Huh? There is no greater calling in life to a Renan than the Crown Contest, yet I refused to take part. The shock he felt at that must have been truly immense. Enough to drive him to revolt, even though doing so meant defying Renan hierarchy. I know I've said this before, but Danans and Renans wouldn't coexist here if it wasn't for your stance. But that was no lofty idealism on my part, nor do I feel any pride at what occurred. Spare us the pity party. You literally just joined us to uphold those ideals. Shion! No, she is absolutely correct. I shall speak no more of my misgivings. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Shion, you need to stop saying some, uh, uh, some straight up stuff to him. Okay. Oh yeah, let's change some people's outfits. Oh. Let's see how everything looks outside first.
She said we're going somewhere of the winds. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Uh, excuse me. Maha. Uxar. That makes four out of the five realms that I've visited now. I wonder what kind of lord we're gonna find there. It doesn't matter. They try to get in our way. If it's in the sky, it's mine! Does it hurt? Back 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 Negative gain! Ooh. Lunar oh corruption! Lunar blast! Can you take it? Do it! Have this! On your knees! Astral energy! Full throttle! Go! Let's keep our eyes on the prize. What was that? One hit wonder. I can hear a hoot somewhere. Hi, Hoodle! I'll face you! By the power on your of your knees! Arrow squall! Well, we're on the home Ready stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the prize. I'm quite aware without you How's reminding me. I'll face you. Oh, she got a circle over Can you take it? My fists are crushing it out there. Calm down, Trudy. Calm down. Calm down. I think it's safe to rest here now. Wait, that just went backwards? I sure did. I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. <laughs> On your knees. Raging Cascade! It's over! Air pressure! They're surrounding us! Air thrust! Rising Wyvern! You are in the city! Soon as I'm done here, I'll come help out. How could a girl ever say no? These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Easy peasy, ha huh, Hoodle. There's something in the water. I didn't realize there was a pond here. Yeah, this is Taka Pond. And it happened to have saved my life once upon a time. What do you mean? As a kid, I survived life under the past lords by escaping here when I needed to. It's terrible to swim in, but great for catching a bite for dinner away from Ren and eyes. Bear in mind, our rations back then weren't enough to live off of. You had to take matters into your own hands if you wanted enough food to survive. But how did you catch them? With your bare hands? That might take a while. Fish are prone to swim away at the first sign of trouble. I'd put bait or a lure on a line and use it with a fishing rod. You must not be familiar with fishing if this sounds new to you. Here, let me show you how it's done.
Cast like the lore, cast the lore. Everything looks fine with the lore. All right, let's do this. Nothing's oh, biting. My bad. There we go. I'll let you go this time. Oh, crap. Uh, I think we're gonna suck at this. I've got something. Anybody could reel in that. You sure know what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> Just not as hard as I thought. And that's all there is to it. Wow. It seems like you need to have good reflexes to catch anything. I don't know if it's really for me. Kisara, I think I've seen enough. Oh, oh, sorry. I guess I'm just in my own little world when I go fishing. Looks like we're going to be here for a while. That's how fishing goes. You wait for a bite, and then the real battle begins. Magal told me that different fish live in different regions, and you have to pick the right rod and lure for what you're hoping to catch. But that doesn't change the fact it's a giant time sink. Of course, each fish has its own unique flavor, too. And some of them are supposed to be extremely delicious. <laughs> she heard that. When you put it like that, maybe it's worth me trying my hand at fishing after all. You're just in it for the food. <laughs> I was hoping we'd get to fish during our travels. And it just so happens I made sure to grab my brother's old rod before I left Vicente. So, if you ever feel like fishing when we've got a little downtime, just let me know. Good to hear. Thanks for showing us. They <laughs> said extremely delicious. Okay! <laughs> hmm? I'm always amazed what healing arts can do. Just doing my job. No need to thank me. What do you say we check back? What's going on? <sighs> hey. Hmm? Is it just me? Or have those two barely spoken a single word to one another? I know, right? But after everything that happened with Magal, is it really any wonder? Kind of puts a damper on the whole journey, though, huh? How long do you think they're going to keep this up? If it bothers you that much, why don't you ask them? Why do I have to ask? <laughs> How come you walk together like that? <gasps> she really doesn't beat around the bush. You mean Kisara and myself? You hadn't noticed? 
You've been practically joined at the hip ever since we left Vicente. I guess it's force of habit, most likely. I was always ready to protect him, should the need arise. It sort of came with the job description. Right. From being in the Elder Menencia Guard. Although, Dohalim's pretty capable of defending himself, isn't he? Having guards doesn't necessarily mean the one being guarded is weak. No one's perfect all the time. Even so, it's not like they're entirely wrong, Gisara. You're no longer in my employ, after all. I don't know. I mean, if it's what she's used to and you're both comfortable with it, then who are we to judge? But she doesn't serve him anymore. It isn't normal for her to keep following him around like she still does. You know, she's probably right. And a lot has changed over the last few days. I guess it wouldn't hurt to rethink our relationship in light of the new circumstances. Perhaps I'll give it some thought, after all. Does that sound all right by you? Of course. You might want to stop asking his permission for every little thing while you're at it. <laughs> Sorry. It's not that easy, shaking off old habits. I'll probably need a little time to get fully used to it. I've noticed that sometimes we come across enemies who fight like you and try to dodge our attacks at the last second. I hate those guys! I can get some hits in when they move in to attack, but otherwise they slip past damn near everything else I throw at them. If what you're seeking is a way to more reliably hit them, there is a solution. Try to outclass them on reflexes? I possess the ability to command Earth Elemental Beings to some extent. They emerge as the land itself and take root on my command. They will swiftly bind the enemies, at which point you can dispatch them. Huh? Uh, what he means is that he can make plants grow to hold the enemies in place. At least I think that's probably what he's saying. I'm glad at least one of us understands him. So basically, if we find an enemy that likes to dodge, we should let Doholim handle it. I shall do what I can within my modest means to help. Well, I don't understand what he's saying. <laughs> I'll make plants grow. Ooh, we got new swords. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Looking at me like that. That armor you wear is standard issue for the Menencian Guard, right? Originally, I've added some flair to it in a lot of places. I noticed, especially with that open back. We guardsmen pride ourselves on never showing our back to our enemies. It's my way of making myself live up to that. Plus, it makes it that much lighter and easier to maintain. Hmm. Dohalim, do you have anything to say about this? Every guardsman is allowed to wear their armor as they see fit. And you, Law? Huh? Why are you asking me? <laughs> she probably wants to... She probably wants to know the same stuff. Dohalim, care if I hang out for a while? <sighs> you worried about what's going on with men and Sia? What makes you think that? Well, you were speaking to Kisara earlier, weren't you? It's rude to listen in on others, you know. 
Sorry. I didn't hear what you two were actually talking about, though. I just figured it was Menencia since it was the two of you. I am but a former lord who has abandoned his post. I'm no longer in a position to lead the realm in any capacity whatsoever. Yet Kisara still seeks out my opinions, knowing full well that is the case. This despite the fact I am no longer her master either. Couldn't it be precisely because you're not her master anymore? It's natural for friends to want to hear each other's opinions. <laughs> I hadn't considered that possibility. It's funny what you miss sometimes. Hardly uncommon among artistic types such as myself. When lordships are decided based solely on one's astral energy, it can lead to funny results. But even so, you still took your job as lord seriously, didn't you? Certainly. I learned to perform my functions. However, I was less interested in ruling so much as avoiding life and death decisions. Of course, such a mentality in the end led only to sickening pain and death taking place elsewhere out of sight. I pretended not to see or hear any of it, content to let our supposed peace and equality keep me blind and deaf to reality. I was a fool. But you're making amends. I would like to think so. The path ahead is dark, yet I still walk on. I merely pray that I shan't fall down any holes along the way. Very true. We'd best get ready for tomorrow. Shall we get moving? Very well. We're heading on. Sure to shut up. But let me kick your ass. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. It's creepy. You guys are gonna stop here. Oh, wait, we got more skits. Well, let's listen to the skits for you. I just noticed none of you other Danans have spirit cores. Why is that? Both of my parents were part of the resistance in Calaglia. In fact, my birth was kept a secret from the Renans. Mine too. We always lived in hiding, so I never had a spirit core embedded in me like I was supposed to. What about you, Alfin? You were a slave in Calaglia before all this, weren't you? To be completely honest, I'm not sure why I don't have one. All the other Danon slaves around me did. I was the only exception. They tended to keep their distance from me to avoid attracting any attention from the soldiers, because of my mask and all. What about you, Kisara? Do you still have your spirit core? No. I was able to find a good Renan doctor who's sympathetic to our kind, and had them remove it before I left. They did such a great job, the procedure didn't even leave a scar. One of the benefits of coexistence, huh? I know that once the spirit vessel was shut down, there wasn't much need for me to hurry. But still, I didn't like having that mark of servitude lingering on me any longer than I had to. It may sound a little strange to hear me say this, but... I'm just me now. Not a guardsman or a slave. I'm my own woman. And this is my chance to have a new beginning. This sure is one rugged road. You'd think they'd keep this at least a little better maintained, right? Why spend energy fixing that which is rarely used? Repairs require time and effort, which in our world means slaves. Often in great numbers. Ah. For you, it may be a simple request, but that can quickly become another's difficult burden. Nobody gains anything without someone expending effort. And you know, somehow that someone always ends up being a Danon, while the Renans are the ones who gain. True enough. Ideally, in a perfect world, I think it's only fair that the ones who need it should be the ones to perform the work. However, when doing so could be dangerous like it is here, there are many who would prefer that it be others who risk their lives in their stead. So, what you're saying is that people will just put up with the inconvenience until someone else comes along to fix it for them? Indeed. And it is those who can no longer bear that feeling that inevitably take action. Much like the Danans in our group do so now, 
As strange as it may be to hear such a thing from the likes of myself. It's true that most of the Danans in Calaglia have been resigned to just accepting things as they are. Still, we can't just blame them for... <sighs> what are you making that face for? You're not worn out already, are you? <sighs> nah, just regretting I ever said anything in the first place. <laughs> you a shit. Hey guys, I'll stop here. I'll see you guys next time. I probably already changed our outfits. And what's that up there? I'm very scared. Is that another beast that we need to fight? Also, let's see. Let's check the... Okay, the palace needs some side quests to be done. Vakat needs side quests to be done. The highway needs stuff to be done. Yeah, okay, only day. Now we also gonna check the back to the home. So like no safe thingy. Oh only thing only safe thing we have is Okay, okay, those are just probably new monsters right there. Okay, next time we probably do the side quests next part. So I'll see you guys next time.